Come in, Tuttleheads. This is my uh, 1930 Bruff Superior. Can you build me a modern version of this? Should I take it off? Do you take it yeah, off? Yeah, take it off. I've never welded, but I'll hold the, the nuts while you, I'll hold them while you weld them. It's been uh, very stressful working with you. Right back at you. <laughs> a great man once said, I have got to get me one of these. <laughs> Hey, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do a, uh, a, a chopper that goes in, in the theme of, of iRobot, really uh, futuristic. Ooh, brought him a bunch of stills and pictures to sort of get a feel for uh, the, the movie and get a sense of the future that we've designed. I, you know, I'm, I like to trust genius, so I just, you know, brought the stills, let them get an idea, and uh, tr trust the genius of their work to, to give me something hot. This tank is gonna kinda be like an elongated football. It's gonna actually be suspended above the backbone. So it's something I've never seen before, and I think it's really gonna fit the theme of the bike. You know, this is by far the most chrome we've ever had on the bike before. It's like glass. I'm really looking forward to showing this thing to Will Smith next week. All right, Don, head for Hollywood, baby. They're waiting for you over there. You know, it was real cool that my father got the opportunity to ride the bike around the carpet and then pull it out and see the fans' reaction. And you know, all this year's of hard work for my father, it's good to see him be able to get a payoff like that. You know, finally, Will Smith got, we got to see him. What's going on, man? How you feeling? There you go, that's you, baby. He got up on stage there, kind of freaked out over the bike, you know, I think he was, he was more than happy with the bike. That is ridiculous right there. Tried to do it up right for you. Thank you very much, that, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, that's beautiful, man. Come in, Tuttleheads. <laughs> this is my uh, 1930 Bruff Superior. Um, I've never been a, a chopper guy, but I do like their work. I like it from the artistic point of view. So I said, can you, can you build me a modern version of this? Not quite as chopper-esque, not, not quite the front end so extended. You know, and give me the look and give me the feel. So it's an assignment. It's yeah, a cool I, looking bike. I mean. It is, it would be fun to build something that looked like this bike. With a little chopper feel to it, of course. Yeah, a little chopper feel. You gotta have the huh? chopper. You know the kids. You gotta have the <laughs> chopper feel for the kids. <laughs> the wheels that I chose for this bike are standard old spoke wheels with a white rim and black spokes. They have a real vintage look. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Which is what we're going for in this project. Let's rock. I do like the way it recreates the feel of the era. The star on the adjustment for the front suspension, the exhaust system, certainly, that's dead on. Well, guys, this is cool. I love this. We got, we're going to go riding after the show. I love yeah, this. Absolutely. is great. Yeah, yeah. Nice job, gentlemen. Oh, thank, you. thank you, guys. Boy, come on in the office. I have Bill Murray on the phone. No way. A little while back, Bill and his brother started a restaurant down in Florida called the Caddy Shack. And every year, the restaurant sponsors a celebrity golf tournament. So the whole tournament's to raise money for this uh, hospital on mobile, wheels, mobile basically? Hospital, right? Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to auction the bike off, or what, what are you doing? That's the plan. Is there going to be a theme to it, or...? Probably Caddyshack would be a fun bike to make. Since yesterday was basically just discussions about the bike, I wanted today to be more hands-on for Bill. So we're ready to tack that, Ricker? Uh-huh. I've never welded, but, um, but I'll hold the, the nuts while you... I'll hold them while you weld them. That I do. It bounces around a little. You got it, man. You nailed it. As you can see, I'm kind of a natural. I see it. Here he goes. That'll look good, man. Thank you very much. Well, a lot of times we get the opportunity to work with a lot of uh, celebrities and stuff like that, and uh, uh, this probably was the biggest thrill for us. It's gorgeous. It's really sweet. The best part was the look on Bill's uh, face. He looked like a kid in a candy store, you know? He was uh, real into the bike. Uh, you know, it, it was a great experience. Hey, hey. don't touch my bike! Oh. Don't touch my bike! Don't touch my bike!
I always wanted to do that. <laughs>